Hello, everyone. Welcome to an episode of Guild Rock Survival. My name is Joe Buffalo, and today we have an exciting episode to go through everything we've accomplished over the last several weeks, upgrading our base. So let's go and get started. So I figured I'd start down here and work our way up. The first thing we did, we were tired of running around slow, so we decided to put a beacon in that has resistance and speed on it. That's just one of four beacons that I have throughout the base at the current time. So let's head to the next level. And as we come up here, we have a brand new chest right here. And in that chest, we have scutes. And if you come up up top here, we can see that I created a small little turtle farm. The scutes are going to be used to make the potion of the turtle master that we're going to use in our new game that Rocket created. And I'm helping him build, which I'll explain in a few minutes. So if we go inside here, we have a few of our eggs waiting to hatch. And then back behind here, we have all of our turtles, keeping them happy in our little oasis that we created behind the breeding area of the turtles. As we leave the basement of our base, and here's where the exciting stuff really begins to happen. In several previous episodes, you've seen us build the wheat farm and the sugarcane farm. What we did do, however, is we added some honey farms to our honeycomb farm. So now not only it produces honeycomb, but it's also producing honey. And having this on for a short time has really created an abundance of honeycomb and some honey. Uh oh, where'd he come from? They're still coming from up top. And a whole bunch of wheat, which we're turning into hay. And we need the wheat for our new farm over there, which is our mud farm, which I'll show you in a second. Here's our second beacon I was talking about. Here we have speed two and regeneration to cover most of this area as we're digging this out to create our new farms. Back behind our beacon here, we've created a double high cactus farm. And what's neat about all these farms is in the month of January, I created a short every day on YouTube. Each one of these farms represent a short. And again, these farms are fairly simple. If you want to see how to build them, check out the YouTube shorts. This here farm is called my glow lichen farm. And in my glow lichen farm, I have some shears with efficiency five mending and I'm breaking three on them. If we go ahead and turn our lever on and stand here where the torch is and just spam the left button on the mouse, we're going to get an unlimited amount of glow lichen. And here the LA picks up all the glow lichen and takes it over to the hoppers and the hoppers place them in the chest. And you can see this is a pretty productive farm. And another neat bone meal farm we have over here. Our crimson and warped nycelium farm. And in this farm we can get the crimson fungus and the warped fungus. And then we can use those to grow our warped and crimson stems. So this is kind of like a two in one farm. And if you stand up here. And flick this lever. We get lots and lots of chaos happening. And we shut it off. We can collect everything we've just gotten. Take it over here to our bone meal farm. And then we just have to turn our bone meal farm on. And then we can just separate our fungus over here. Now if we wanted to get more warped fungus, all we have to do is replace this middle block here with a warped nihilium block. What's nice is if you have a 2x2 two two block, you can plant them individually like this with some bone meal. Or you can plant them by like this, and it grows into what we have here. And if we were to put our four down and bone meal... And then what you get is a nice looking tree like this with two farms and one that are self-sustaining. Then if we come over here, I've made a small area to duplicate our LAs and it's simple. We just use the jukebox and a disc and I brought some amethyst shards with me just so I can have as many LAs if we needed. And over here is what we have a clay farm. And the way we have our clay farm set up is it's a mud farm. And underneath the mud farm, we took some dripstone and dripstone blocks, stuck it underneath the mud. Now what it's doing, it's creating a clay farm. It's taking all the water out of the mud and turning it into clay. And it's very simple. We can just harvest this clay. And after all the clay has been harvested, you can see we have about eight and a half stacks of clay. 
And to start this farm, all we do is place dirt into the spot right here. And then that piston will push the dirt forward, causing the dispenser to shoot out a bottle of water, making that piece of dirt a piece of mud. And that'll continue to happen until the whole farm is filled up. And the pistons can no longer push any more blocks of dirt, as their limit is 12 blocks per piston. Then if we were to come up here, you could see that some of the mud is already turning into clay just by going across these dripstone blocks. And then over here is the same concept. However, this is just a mud farm where the clay is not involved. There's no dripstone here. This is just in order to make the mud. And why do I need so much mud and clay? In the last episode when we needed bricks and clay, we had a hard time finding it. So I didn't want that to happen again. But this time, let me go show you why we need all this mud. Let's head right outside the shopping district into our gaming area and show you the game that Rocket created of the pig races that I'm helping him build. As soon as we come out of that nether portal, we enter Pork Lane. And in Pork Lane takes us back to the pig races, right behind our pumpkins. And here's the start of it. So the idea is that we're going to get two pigs and race them like drag racing down this long stretch. And the winner, of course, won't receive a chicken dinner, but maybe a pork dinner. But what Rocket did was he placed in this nice starting gate. So if you're on a pig and you're getting ready and you come over here, this is going to determine whether you're going to get green or you're going to get red. So you go ahead and just flick this button. It's going to push out your color. And we've gotten green. So now we're going to start in the green lane. And then we would get on our pig that we purchased. And we'll show you that in a second. And we're going to start here. We're basically going to turn around, hit the button. There's a nice delay. And then it takes off. And we're ready to start our race. And you can see the lights are lighting up. And it goes all the way down. Now we're going to go ahead and put some obstacles in here. We haven't done that yet, but that's probably in the next several days. And once we pass the finish line here, the first person past the finish line, you'll see the lights turn on. There they go. And that is going to determine our winner. We also have some fireworks that will be set off that we haven't filled up yet. And a nice wall so you don't fly into the ocean and drown your pig or yourself. So yeah, it's going to be pretty fun. This down here is where we're going to return our pigs once we're done racing. And they'll be stored there. And if we come down here where the pigs are being breeded, you can see over here we're still doing a little work in progress. But this is where we needed all of our mud. Because we have a big hallway down here full of pigs and mud. And what pigs like to do is play in mud. So we're finishing this up. And we're going to be starting our pig races very soon. So come get your pigs and race and see who's got the fastest pig in Guild Rock. That's a really clever idea that Rocket came up with. We're going to have a lot of fun here racing pigs. All right, let's head back to the base and finish up our tour. And the final build I wanted to show you is right here. Our train station. And our train station is going to take us on different locations throughout my base. And you can see that this first tunnel right here is where departures. So we take off from here. I guess the bee wants to go for a ride. Here's the reset button. This is to Buffalo Base, which is going to be up here. And we'll show you that in a minute. This I haven't decided to put anywhere yet because this is going to be all my farms. It'll be a guided tour through all the farms that I have once they're all completed. And over here is arrivals and this is where you come back and what i like about this is as you're coming back through you're ejected right here your cart goes into the cactus and then into the hopper i need to turn on right now what happens is this hopper goes into a dropper which drops it into a water stream and you can see the water stream right here it flows down into this other dropper this other dropper goes into a dropper elevator and the dropper elevator goes into this dispenser and the dispenser shoots out another minecart for us to go wherever we need to go. It's a pretty neat redstone contraption. We might as well take a ride. We'll go up to Buffalo Base. So we'll go ahead and click Buffalo Base. 
and you can see that Buffalo Base is turned on. Now the tracks are lined up to take me up to the top of my base. Now, if I didn't want to go there, all I have to do is reset it. A little sound plays and it resets the whole system. So we're going to go ahead to Buffalo Base. We're going to hop in our minecart, which is already out, so we don't have to hit that button. He died. Don't go in there. All right, now that we got the bee out of the minecart before he destroyed me, we go ahead and we hit the button. A minecart comes out. I can hop in my minecart. And now we're going to go. Up to the buffalo base. And it's very nice ride. And you can see that we've got all of our lighting done. It takes us to the top part of our base. We get pushed out. The cart goes into the cactus. And then when we want to leave, we go ahead and we just hit this button. A new cart comes out for us and we're ready to go back. But here it is. Here's our base. We started the build a few days ago. We'll go to the front. Looks like it's been snowing up here. Uh, here's our elevating system that we showed you in the last video, but this is the beginning of it. But well, we don't have much inside. We just have a bottom floor complete. I have some ideas I don't want to share with you, but I believe the stairs are going to go here. And we're going to go ahead and take some of our YouTube shorts that we used. Have a nice swapping out fireplace of blue and red fire. A nice enchanting area where the library, where the library books go up and down. And up here. And our second floor is just about done. We go over here, we can see it pretty good. And there it is, Buffalo Base. Coming together fairly well. Here's the second floor. Got to put some windows and doors in. A couple balconies. However, we've gotten a lot completed. You see the track with the lighting all throughout. And then over here, there's our farming. And I believe up here is where our storage area is going to be. Soon to come. Come visit again. And there's how the minecart goes down into the hopper, which leads it over to be refilled. Well, that looks like it wraps up this video. I hope everybody had a good day. I hope everybody enjoyed the farms that were built and the progress made on our base. Go ahead and hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.